Do you want to know how to fix a running toilet or fix a toilet that won't stop running? Anyway, in this video, we're going to show you how to replace a fill valve, which is one of the two most common things that cause a toilet to keep running. The other is a flapper. We made a video on how to replace a toilet flapper as well. Just check the description below to find a link to that video. Anyway, come on, let's go do this. I feel like I forgot something. I'll be right back. That's better. Now let's go talk about how to fix a running toilet by replacing a bad fill valve. You remember in the video where we replaced the toilet flapper and there was the fill valve that was all jacked up, it was spraying out of the top? That's not normal. So we actually are gonna make a video on how to replace a fill valve. Anyway, we just have to get back to that toilet. Beep. Gotta use my teleporting app. See you there. You know that technology is going to work someday. VR will probably come first. Okay, how to replace a toilet fill valve. We're here at this toilet. This is a fill valve that you should be able to pick one up at your local hardware store. Anywhere from, I don't know, 10 to 20 bucks. There's different styles, there's different features. Find the one that's compatible with your toilet. The installation steps should be the same. Now, you're only going to need a few tools. You may not need all of them, but you're probably going to want to have a bucket handy to set underneath to catch the water. You're going to want a sponge. We'll show you why in a second. Uh, you may need some adjustable pliers to help take off the old connections. You're not going to need the pliers necessarily to crank down the new ones. You may need a screwdriver. You'll need a pencil, a tape measure, and you might need a knife. First thing you're going to do is we're actually gonna remove the lid to the tank. Use a pencil to mark the old water level so that when you're adjusting the new flow, you know where it's at. Turn off the water supply. Go ahead and flush the toilet. Hold the flapper up so that you can drain as much water out of the tank as you can. Use the sponge and soak up any extra water in the bottom. Next, we're gonna be underneath the toilet and loosen the nut that's on the bottom of the fill valve. If you follow your shutoff that's in the wall up to the bottom of the toilet tank, that's where you'll find it. Sometimes you'll need adjustable pliers to loosen them and get it started. Remove the water supply line nut. Next, we're gonna remove the old fill valve from the tank. Remove the lock nut. Once the nut is off, remove the old fill valve by lifting it up out of the toilet tank. Next, you're gonna prepare the fill valve for installation. There should be some parts that come with it. You're gonna need the lock nut and the shank washer. Now this washer has an inner piece that needs to be removed. Then you can slide it up over the bottom shank of the fill valve. Place the new fill valve in the toilet, but don't tighten it down yet. We need to adjust the top of the fill valve to make sure that it's about three inches above the overflow pipe. This will help to make sure that it works properly. If you have a standard tank, the fill valve will probably come preset to the right height. But if you have a shallow tank or a deep tank, you may need to adjust the height of the fill valve by loosening the lock ring and raising or lowering the fill valve. Next, while applying downward pressure to the fill valve, you want to take the lock nut and screw it to the bottom of the fill valve where it comes out of the bottom of the tank. The idea here is to make it tight so that the rubber washer squishes out, forms a good seal, and doesn't allow water to leak out after you've installed the new fill valve. Tighten the lock nut as much as you can with your hand, then take a pair of pliers and make it snug. Give it an extra quarter turn. You want to be careful not to over tighten. Over tightening can crack the fill valve or crack the tank and cause flooding. Next, we're gonna attach the refill tube to the fill valve. Attach one end of the refill tube to the refill clip. Place the clip on the side of the overflow tube. Now, you don't need excess tubing, so measure how much you're gonna need by eyeballing it and then cut if necessary. Attach the other end of the tube to the nipple on the side of the fill valve with a slight arc. Next, we're gonna reattach the water supply. We ended up running into a problem. You may run into the same thing. This is real life now. Uh, if you end up with, if you look under your toilet and you see that you have a solid supply line and it's not flexible, save yourself the headache and just grab a flexible one when you run to the store and get your replacement fill valve. 
what happened with this one is it was just the right length for the other fill valve and when we put the new one in it was a little short so i tried to bend it to make it fit and it started leaking from the bottom anyway it was a mess so save yourself the headache and just pick up one of these flexible toilet supply lines um, while we're on the subject if you ever attempt any of these projects and you feel you've gotten in over your head stop and call a plumber you trust um, anyway back to the video I think you guys saw me messing with this old solid supply line. It's not flexible. All I did to remove it, to replace it, is I loosened this nut here and it came right off. So anyway, just remove that. Take your flexible one and you're going to put it over the end. Tighten it down. Once you finger tighten it, um, take your pliers. You don't want to like really go crazy with it, but perfect. And then you're going to take your flexible one and you're going to attach it to the bottom of your fill valve. Again, you shouldn't have to like go crazy tightening this thing. With the pliers on this end, you should just be able to get plenty of torque with your hand. Put that on there, and then we turn it back on. Check it for leaks. That is much, much better. As you can see now, we don't have any leaks coming here where we did before. This was spraying all over the place, so we fixed both of those. Great! Now we need to adjust the water level in the tank. You made a mark with a pencil before of where the old water level was. If the water comes up and it's at that level, you should be good. But if you need to make it go up or down from that, you'll find an adjustment screw on the fill valve. But flush the tank first and make your adjustments while the water is refilling. Clockwise will make the water level go higher. Counterclockwise will make the water level go lower. Then just put the lid back on the tank and you're all done. If you found this video about how to fix a running toilet by replacing the fill valve helpful and informative, give us a thumbs up. We really want to know if you like what we're making. If you have any other questions about any major systems in your home, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Now don't forget to subscribe. We put a big subscribe button right there. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. What's the line? I'm just kidding. There's no script. <laughs> this is Spanish. Give me one more chance. What am I even talking about?